Right, hi guys. Um, hope the wind isn't doing too much. It's a slight breeze, but I hope it's not uh, interfering with the uh, the audio. What a difference a couple of weeks makes, eh? Do you remember the last video where it was really sodden and I couldn't do a damn thing? Well, three weeks later, look at this. I managed to get some raised beds in. Um, today, which is the 9th, I think, of April, um, I'm hoping to get at least two of those raised beds in down there. Uh, it's looking really good, actually. I've got two of the raised beds planted up. This one down here uh, is planted up with two rows of uh, Kelvin Wonder Peas. This one down here is planted up with uh, two rows of first early potatoes, uh, Pentland Javelin. Uh, I've still yet to, to plant those up and those up, but it's getting there. The frames that were stacked up near the rhubarb, which is over there, are now down here. Uh, I thought I'd get maybe 8 to 10 frames on the plot, but I've got 7 here, so it looks just looking like uh, 14 frames I can get on the plot, so I'll have to buy some more wood and make some more frames. And I've got uh, I've got ideas for that as well. Um, so there, that's the work for today. Get at least two of those frames back in. And then tomorrow, uh, which is Sunday, uh, maybe get that frame put in. Uh, but before that, I've got some weeding to do. Uh, do you remember this plate? This is where the brassicas were, the, the sprouts and the, uh, the cabbages. It's just a, a weedy patch now. Uh, most of them uh, are just annual weeds. Uh, which I'm not too bothered about, but we have some perennial weeds in there as well, which I have to get out. Whoops, I've just slipped down the bank. Sorry about my shadow. Uh, but on a day like today where the sun, sun is, um, you, can't, you can't actually <laughs> get rid of shadows. I'll come around this way, just to film from a different direction, cut my shadow out. That is a dandelion. That is an, uh, a perennial weed. I need to get all the roots of that out, otherwise it'll come back again next year. Uh, there's another dandelion over here, very exciting this, uh, that's uh, also a perennial weed that will come back again next year, I need to get all the roots of that out. The thing is guys, if you're going to rotivate your plot, you need to get your perennial weeds out, otherwise you'll chop your roots up into little bits and every little bit of root will grow a new weed. So instead of having one dandelion which you could have uh, taken out, you'll end up with about 30 dandelions <laughs> and uh, I know in the past they were grown as a commercial crop because believe it or not you can actually eat dandelion leaves they put them in salad and stuff just like rocket um, you know oh there's my shadow again sorry me and my shadow were attached together you know we've been together for 59 years now I'm surprised he's not left me because I'm an awkward bugger really um, you know yeah, they don't they don't do them as a commercial crop now. They they the seen as a weed, uh, so it's got to come out. And then I'll rotate this top section, make some there's my shadow again, make some more some more beds, and uh, put them in this top section. And then my thinking is, if I don't use all of them, I can use the seven beds I've got in the bottom of the plot uh, this year, whilst I'm maintaining these seven beds. Or maybe more at the top of the plot, which will be here, fertilising them, putting muck on them, letting the worms do the digging and everything. And then I'll use the top half of the plot next year, whilst doing the same to the bottom half of the plot. Just put muck on it, cover it over, let the let the worms take it all down and cultivate it. And um, my hope is it will become one of the uh, the no dig rev. Uh, re revelations that are going on re revelations that's you know that's a word that I can't really say as you noticed also you noticed the greenhouse base from last time well I've started doing that I'm sorry if uh, you're getting sniffing sounds on the camera but I have got a, a bit of a, a summer cold coming I think this is a greenhouse base now it's been done the, uh, the chippings have been put down um, donated uh, very kindly from another plot holder who bought a tub bag and didn't need it all uh, I'm just going to throw some sand on top of this and uh, a little bit of cement probably just to bind it all together and then I've got uh, some flagstones coming because 
a couple of weeks ago I was I was coming onto the allotments and a car pulled up and uh, he said uh, this guy in the car uh, wound the window down and said uh, I'm remodeling my garden and I've got 80 flagstones the old flagstones the 3b2 that are down here uh, do we want them uh, the answer to that was uh, yes but we can't get them down from his house so he's offered to deliver them when he uh, when he gets his trailer back that he lent to a friend um, so yeah I'm uh, hoping those will come soon and I can get the flagstones on top of this and then bring the greenhouse base or the greenhouse which is down at the bottom plot anchor it to the flagstone base and um, reglaze it get rid of all this glass then we'll have a nice little patio like we did last year to sit out in summer and drink wine and uh, generally just uh, watch things grow because there's not much you can do in summer once things are growing it's just a bit of weed and letting the plants to get on with it you know what I mean um, other than that nothing's happening the rhubarb's still producing I've taken some of it home but you know as fast as you pick it it produces again so if there's any of my relatives uh, watching that want some rhubarb just give me a call and I'll, I'll pick some and you can come and pick it up top half knees weeding uh, which is uh, no great shakes so I'll just dig it over those are all uh, annual weeds as well uh, I don't think there's many perennial weeds in there um, I'm looking to move the compost bins as well but I don't know where I'm going to put them because if I put them down on the bottom of the plot they'd look just as ugly as they do up here on the top of the plot um, so you know if anybody's got any ob uh, any suggestions not objections as I was going to say uh, just let me know I could put them on somebody else's plot but then they wouldn't be my compost bins would they um, so there we go that's the uh, the story so far the raised beds are going in I'm going to let you go now because I've got to get on and put these uh, these raised beds in that aren't in yet and uh, I'll see you later whenever just remember this it's coming summer enjoy your garden